If you're using Ideogram to create colouring pages, and mainly colouring pages with no grayscale, just like this, then the best thing that we can do is actually turn these into SVGs. Now an SVG can be infinitely scalable and it doesn't lose its quality. So if we zoom in like this, we can see it's lost no quality, again, because this is an SVG. Now, what I want to do in this video is share with you a free SVG converter. Now, quick side note, if you want some prompts to play around with Ideogram for colour and pages, then come and check out my little freebie. This is 100 plus Ideogram quote colouring page prompts. Now this is completely free as well. All you have to do is come to this box, type in zero, click I want this, and you can grab this completely free. Now if you want to check this out, there will be a link for this down in the description. So the website which I want to share with you is this one. It's called SVG Trace. Now what I'll do is also link this down in the description. Now on here, they have a free plan and a paid plan, and you can get away with just using the free plan. Now, before I show you how to use this, let's just scroll down to the bottom. So this is the free, this is the pro. So with the free, it says for anyone wanting to create vector graphics from existing images, no design experience required, and it's free forever. So you can actually use this over and over again and with no limitations. And it also says, try our web-based online SVG converter. It's simple and easy to use. Now with the pro plan, you do get a lot more features, but it's not actually necessary. So to find what we want to use, we can simply click on the free SVG converter down here, or you can come to free tools, click on PNG to SVG, and this is where we can start converting. So if we come over to just here, let's go ahead and take one of these pages. We'll go with this. Then what we'll do is just download this like so. We're going to download the PNG because we are using the PNG to SVG. Then all we have to do is simply take this, drag it on the screen, and this is where we can convert. Now this is also going to be great for print on demand as well. So if you need an SVG converter for print on demand, go ahead and try this out as well. But for this example, we are going to be converting a coloring page. Now, as you can see, we have this little eyedropper, which means we can actually pick the colors from the design. Now this one's all black. So what we're going to do is simply click there. And now we've added that black color just here. Let's remove this black. And then what we now want to do is simply toggle the show hide layer on the white background. Now by doing this, we are now going to get a transparent background of this design. Then all we have to do is simply click on convert, then come to export, and we can export this as an SVG. Now, as we can see over here, we have a few more features. These are all pro features and you can't use them, which is a shame because this means we can only convert the color in pages, we can't actually edit them. So my favorite way to edit my color in pages is by using Kittle. Now, why is this? Well, because I can quickly edit and turn to an SVG. So if we click onto this image, we can click on remove background, just like so. It removes the background. Then if I right click, come to eraser, we can then erase out any parts of the color in page that doesn't look good. Now these are pro features because I do actually pay for Kittle Pro as well. So please keep that in mind. But with Kittle, it just makes the process seamless. And now if we come to Image Vectorizer, click on Vectorize Image, it will then vectorize this coloring page. So again, this is still my favorite way to do this because it's absolutely seamless within Kittle. But SVG Trace does do an amazing job at converting our color and pages into SVGs. We just can't edit them unless we're on the Pro plan. Anyway, now let's go to Export. We're going to click Download SVG. We can come back over to Canva, and then we can upload this here. 
So let's upload that. Let's give that a second. Let's have this page just here. And then if we put that on, we can see it's now a transparent background. Because we toggled off the white background, we can also see over here on the left hand side that it's transparent as well. And now this can be infinitely scaled as we can see, and it's not going to lose any quality. So come over to SVG Trace. Again, I'm going to link this down in the description so you can come through and check it out. Have a little play around with it and see what you think. Because remember, this is free forever. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.